Not a... Oh, what do you got? <laughs> it's a pill. What a pill? Or is it a heart? What a heart? Or is it a box? And, and other stuff. stuff. Puzzle time with Tyler and Tony. It's new shirt day. Yeah, we've got new the puzzle. puzzle they came in gray. Sticker. Yeah, I, we just found these on the shelves. So. The old ones were starting to stink. We threw them out <laughs> and got new ones. <laughs> uh, so what do we have today? Uh, puzzle boxes, man. Episode two on puzzle boxes. Yeah, yeah. We did puzzle boxes last episode. We did the really expensive ones. These ones are a little mm -hmm. more, like less expensive, but still good. And they came in this week. So that's kind of that's kind of cool, yeah. brand new. That's really how we pick our stuff. Brand new stuff. We want to show you guys the cutting edge. What just came in? Yeah. What do you want to start with? Well, we did the Kara Curry last week, right? So let's yes. go with that one first. Kara Curry Creation yeah. Group. Yeah. You say have you, have you Kara Curry, I, dude. <laughs> uh, speaking and reading, not so good. Uh, me too. I'll stick to my strengths. Yeah. Um. So this looks like a like a pill pill, pill box. Yeah. A little enema. There we go. Uh, cool. It's called the heart box. Heart box. The Karakuri. Yeah. It's called the Kuru Kuru, which Kuru means Kuru. revolve. Okay, there was a uh, solution here somewhere too, right? Yes, yeah. Yeah. So there's a solution. One. Does say solution? I didn't open it up. No, keep it closed. Keep it closed. That's right. You got it. Uh, you may be wondering why it's called the heart box. Okay. So Tony, First Tony figured this out really quick. Chica -chica. So there it then, is. Spin it. But All right. Now what? Like, do you okay, put so this back I, on? This don't slide. You got to put it back in. Yeah. Okay. Put it back in. And then I saw there was a pin on the, pull the opposite side out now. And there's a little pin oh. there. So I'm not sure. Okay. So you oh. see like it is pushing this pin so when you over. Push it, yeah. Here. So when you push this, this piece is moving that so pin. So if I bring it back. So that it can open yeah. up. So the, is that all? Am I just trying to get off the top? Is yeah, that the that, whole thing? That's it. That's like you're that's you got it. You're just getting the top off. So there's four moves. It's not hard. It's a level six, right? So okay. it's by uh, it's from a designer named that I've never heard of actually called uh, his name's Tatsuo Miyamoto. Tatsuo Miyamoto. Mm. Great Japanese name. Great Japanese that. name. Cool. But um, that is these ones. So you have to have this out to spin it. Okay, so you spin yeah. it there. That's good. Yeah. That is the Karakuri Kuru Kuru, which means revolve, hence the, the spin. Rotation, gotcha. Heart. Karakuri Kuru 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 Heart. Smooth. Not hard. There we go. Put this one over here too. It's kind of the theme today. I guess not hard puzzles, but really nice stuff. Well made. Uh, yeah, so these came in uh, this week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A few different designs. Dude, these boxes were so heavy when they came in. There was like 30 of them in a box. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was, yeah, it was there, a mess. It's a one and a half pound box. Look it up. It's one and a half. One pounds? and a half pounds. Oh, geez. That's why it was, <laughs> yeah. It's solid, solid wood. Which one do you want to pick? There's, there's uh, actually five different ones here we've got. Okay. You I'll pick, start with this one. Okay, I'll favorite. start with Is that this your one. favorite? No, it's not my favorite, okay. but we'll start with this one. Sure. We kind of got this little tech sector going on here. Yeah. So, so it's, it looks like a very, Elon Musk. Yeah, it, it looks like so the sides I feel like look like this uh, like a this computer program board. Yeah, like a motherboard off a computer yeah. or something. It's like an eye kind of there. Yeah. The uh, all of the laser engraving on these is amazing. It's like, intense. However, whoever did the art on this. So this is all raised. You can't you can't see it I guess on here as well, but it's all raised and engraved in there with a laser and yeah. super detailed. Okay, do these all solve the same? Yeah, they all saw the same. Yeah, all saw the same. But case. hold on, hold on. This is, this is funny. This this is maple, so yeah. it's, it's real wood, maple except the bottom. 
the bottom, which is a hint to the solution, but it's, it's laminate flooring. And uh, so it's made to be a little more durable. Hmm. And uh, go ahead, let's see the salt. Yeah. No, I call no, this... no, no, we'll, we'll show all of them and then we'll do the Okay, salt fine, let's do, yeah, we'll do let's a, do that at the end. Okay. Okay, uh, this was the second one. The Egyptian. Egyptian. Yeah. Thought this was very cool. Arrow. Oh, it's, I didn't oh. see that with the bow and arrow. And yeah, the man, with the chariot. chariot. Oh. I was like, that is an amazing picture. That's cool too, with like the mummy sarcophagus yeah. in there. And that's, again, yeah. all like laser engraved etched in there. Super cool. A uh, nice. little fun fact, when we were in Toronto for the wholesale show, got to go uh, see a mummy at the... Oh yeah, the, your uh, museum travels there? Yeah, yeah, it was super cool. So I guess same picture front and back, yeah, side to side. Very cool. A little more uniform, that one's good. Uh, we got this dragon one. Wow, no. it's pretty cool. I think this actually has the most like wood taken out of it of all of them. Like, oh, it's yeah. got like more I don't Multiple know, dead layers space in there almost. Yeah. yeah, very cool. Oh yeah, and it's got like the Japs, the the Chinese calendar, Zodiac, yeah. right? With each of the symbols. Very cool, the dragon Zodiac. on the side. Cool. The Zodiac over here too? Yeah, yeah, yeah front, and, front and sides are the same. Really good. Yeah. Uh, Let's throw this the one blank too. one, yeah, yeah, and then we'll solve the last one. I mean, if you want more of like the natural look, I think you actually pay a little less for this one too. Yeah. Um, but it's more of the natural look. There's no engraving. But yeah, there. And last, uh, all I right. think our personal favorite. Yeah, this is called the Bell Box. Yeah. B E L L E. This one, uh, I, I like this one because this one has different pictures on yeah. all sides of the box, even the bottom. The other one's on the bottom. This one at the bottom done. Yeah, we got a, uh, what do you call that? Day of the Dead? Day of the Dead. Yeah, there yep. we go. Mexican. thought this girl kind of looked like a firefighter, but then I saw <laughs> she, she got gears up top. Like a weird, like, all right. weird, sexy firefighter. Firefighter or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I steampunk cool. firefighter. Yeah. Uh, bottom, this was very steampunk, I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah with the clocks. Yeah. And, and again, without the... Uh, what is it, the laminate bottom? We got these pins yeah, on Yeah, the it. pins that keep it raised. So, I mean, again, another hint to kind of the solution. Should we... Cool. Do you want to do the solution on this one? Yeah, you do it. Okay. So, the girl. Ooh, it's going to be loud. Ah. Ooh, that is real loud. So, you want to spin it and not move it a whole lot. And then it comes out. And so, you'll see the lid has these holes cut into it. And inside the box, there is pins that move into those holes on all sides here. So obviously those are gonna hold the lid on. Not super tight, so that's why it's got a little bit of movement and the pins kind of have some movement in them a bit, but yeah, simple solution, not hard. I call this the Chris Ramsey special. Cause I feel like in his videos, he's always like doing spins. That's like his thing, right? He just spins every puzzle just to Got see. Man. But so few of them, there's not a lot to have a spin move, but. Speaking yeah. of Chris Ramsey, uh, did you watch his newest one? Yeah, the, the T9. T9 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Super good. It was a pop lock. He tried to explain what was in the middle. No idea what he's talking about. Yeah, it's it's crazy. I, I feel like those pop locks would be really good for Mr. Puzzle too, because I feel like he, like I always say, he's the puzzle technician. And he's a guy like good at explaining stuff. So I agree. Yeah. Like. It's hard. I do know that that T9 is super unique in that it uses air pressure to solve. Yeah. Well, I don't know if Chris hit hit on that really, but. I don't know that he did. Well, like essentially it's just, it's a dial and you have to press each of these pins in. There's a pin that comes out of it, self-discovery thing, right? Yeah. And then you've got to keep all the pressures down, but you can only move so far within the clock for each of the pins. Yeah. And then the whole face shifts on it. It's, it's but, a great video. Yeah. It really is. And those T9, those T locks, those pop locks is what they're called. They're T whatever, one, two, three, four, five. So I don't even, is there T1, 2? Is it, uh, they go through? I, I, I think it was at like 12. We're on 12 now. now. So yeah, that they're insane $1,500, $1,000 yeah. locks. I think he only makes like 10 of them at a time. Yeah. No, it's more than that. He does, he does higher volumes, but it's, you can only get so few of them. And like, I know with Puzzle Mask, we have people that are like, oh, I know this is coming out. They're waiting and like, it's a crazy thing. So yeah. you just have to get there. Like it sells on like five minutes when you put it on. So it's, it's not. Yeah, there's not very many of them. Yeah, but good video. That Chris Ramsey one, I really, really like that one. Mm -hmm. Unique. He's mm -hmm. done a few of the pop locks. So uh, we're going to cut to our sixth section that we've been doing in here called Aaron's Anomalies. Um, and today we've got the Cross Knot Pelican, which is really unique. Cross Knot I liked Pelican. it. Yeah. yeah. And me and Aaron sat down and did it. So 
check out Aaron's Anomalies Cross Knot Pelican. Welcome to Aaron's Anomalies. Today, what are we shooting, Aaron? What do you got for us? We got Cross Knot Pelican. Cross Knot Pelican. Level seven on Puzzle Master's difficulty scale. Comes in these nice little bags, hey? Yep. I like Rumble stuff. This is Rumble, right? Yep. I mean, oh, for it sure. says Pelican, it's not Pelican. Though. Yeah, it's weird. They got a weird thing going. I'm not 100% sure, but this is, I guess this is a Pelican design as okay. I can't get it out and it disassembles on me. Ooh, it's nice and smooth. I like the finish on this one. Yeah. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if maybe Pelican did make this and it's through Rommel or something like that. All right. Now, is there a solution in here? Oh, oh apparently there is a solution a tiny, in there. A tiny, tiny little solution. This is not a hard huh. puzzle then, hey? Yeah. No, this one's more satisfying than hard. Okay. So, uh, obviously, you got to get the knot apart. Yep. So, uh, tell me, what's what's so good about this puzzle then? It does, it does, okay. Honestly, it doesn't look initially that good to me. It looks like kind of like a whatever. Yeah, it just right? looks like the traditional cross. I, I think that's the whole point of these, right? Is that we've got puzzles here that look kind of eh, but that you've done, and the solution's awesome for some reason or another. Yep. So that's that's what Aaron and Aaron's anomalies is. Okay. So more or less, uh, what I like about this solution is it kind of drops down. It's kind of interesting like that. Mm. It's got a nice movement on it too. Like some some of these are tight sometimes, or yeah, it's got that nice clunk to it. It's yeah, it's not, very it's not, satisfying. It's not too loose. It's not too tight. I like that. Okay. So the one piece is quite easy to remove. So there's that first little C shape. And then how do I get this off? So that one. This is one of those ones that actually has a rotation move in it, which isn't Ooh. typically common. Yeah, you wouldn't think that with the, squared off, with the squared off nature of it, man, you would not think that there's even room to do that. That's a cool, so that's, that's obviously the move you like in this. Yeah, yeah, that's the cool move. For sure. Yeah. Okay, so there's three parts. Actually, they should have called this like the, <laughs> the cock puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> or the OCC. OCC, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh, geez. Okay, so does, now does it matter which C shape goes in? You know what? I'm not sure that it really does. No. So, so you, you could, could start with the, uh, the white wood and then. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try that. So there, and then that oh, rotates in. It's up there, oh, okay, that's what I'm doing wrong. So it rotates like that, and then that comes around. Yeah, so then... two of the pieces are totally identical. Perfect. Yeah, you can swap them at will. Yeah. Huh, well, that's cool. Yeah, you learn sure. something new, I guess, every day, hey, with these puzzles. Yep. It looks good too. Do you know why it's called cross knot? Is there a reason? Uh, I think it's just the fact that it looks kind of like a knot. I think they're all kind of playing off of that. Uh, what is that? The Gildian's knot or? Okay. Well, it's got it's got like a knot shape, and then there is a little like cross there, right? Yeah. And there. Yep. So, cool. Maybe just referring to it weaving around itself. Okay. Right. So this is from Rumble. It's a level seven, right? Yep. He said. Cool. That's the uh, cross knot pelican. Awesome. Yep. Pretty Thank good. Thank you, Aaron. No problem. <laughs> okay. okay, hopefully you liked that, Aaron's Anomalies. That was the Cross Knot Pelican, one of my favorite puzzles I've done recently. It was really good. Yeah. Not like super hard. Did you end up solving it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Aaron yeah, showed it to me. Okay. I think I did. I forget. I don't know. It was good though. It's it a good <laughs> one. Well done. Uh, it's from Rumble. I liked it. Cross Knot Pelican. Yeah. Uh, so we always show you a bit more of what's going on on social media, what's out there on the web, um, different stuff that we're finding. Um, and maybe you're new to puzzles and just kind of getting into it. So we've got some stuff today that I wanted to talk about that is maybe a little more on like the puzzle nerd side of things. Like where's Chris? Okay. I feel like Chris Ramsey, Puzzle Guy, Mr. Puzzle. Some of those guys are a little more like entertaining, everybody yeah, friendly, yeah. entertaining guys. I want to talk about some of the stuff that if you're really getting into puzzles and you want to check out like huge catalogs of puzzles, I've got some stuff for you today. So first I want to talk about Gabriel Fernandez, this guy who does a blog. Um, he also puts stuff on Facebook, but he has a, a blog. It's mypuzzlecollection.blogspot.com. And uh, he talks about puzzles. He does reviews on there and he does pretty in-depth reviews. So they're really good. It's a blog though. So it's no video. It's all just pictures and then his written thoughts on the puzzles, but there's a lot on there. It's a lot of stuff. It's got his whole collection. He's got a fairly large collection. Um, 
and uh, yeah, it's interesting stuff. So if you want a bit of like reference material, there it is a good place to go. Um, also, you should check out uh, Jerry Slocum. He has a he, so it's this guy. Jerry Slocum. He's one of the de designers. Right? Yeah, he's like OG puzzle stuff, right? Like this guy's been around. He has like tons of puzzles. So he has teamed up with Indiana University. So it's okay. Indiana. I don't. Know. He's got this page on there. Jerry Slocum's mechanical puzzle page on Indiana University's website. So you can go there. Massive, massive collection stuff you won't see anywhere else. Um, and it's, it's a blog again, so you no videos, but it's all pictures and explanations of what's there. And so you'll see some of like the most unique stuff you'll find anywhere. Um, even more unique than like, I mean, Chris Ramsey has some cool stuff. This guy just has, it, it's a, it's one of the biggest catalogs I think on the internet. Well, he'll have a bunch of like prototyping stuff too, like throughout that. Like you gotta remember how long this guy's been oh, yeah. collecting for, man. Yeah, and he's been doing it forever. So um, the other cool thing, and so I was talking to Al a bit about Jerry Slocum and what he does. He has, so in, like I said, he's teamed up with Indiana University. Okay. They've given him a whole wing of their university to like put puzzles in. Really? So if you're traveling, I don't even know where, I where, I don't know where Indiana University is, but wherever it is. Indiana? Indiana, but that's a state, right? So I imagine there's, maybe it's in a city there. Whatever. But they've given a whole wing to display his puzzles. He's got his whole collection there. He's got so many puzzles that like they can't even display them all. So they rotate stuff through is what he said. And there's a guy who curates the whole thing. You can get a tour and see all the puzzles, try stuff out. So if you're like That's traveling, wild. you can go do that. It's, and there's, cool. there's a couple, and there's actually another one in uh, Europe, apparently, a uh, guy in England, um, James Dalgetty. Oh he, yeah, he's a designer yeah, too. I, yeah, I think his website's puzzlemuseum.com yeah. or something. And uh, he has a Have museum. Seen, We're gonna have to road trip. Yeah, museum out in England. Yeah, and you can go check it out. Now I think the museum maybe in England had some problems and they're not actually open, but there is. You probably could talk to him. James Delgetti is the guy who invented or uh, designed uh, Cowboy's Hobble, though. Yeah, and the chain. I think. Dude, he's done a few. From Hannah Yama. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got a few different stuff. James is again another one of those guys that I think's like been around for a long time. Um, really into the puzzle world so i mean to have that big a collection these are two of the uh, apparently two of the biggest collections of puzzles in the world yeah. these two guys like so they don't have it you probably don't want it <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah they're crazy stuff so um check those out again like i said this is like a little more nerdy stuff like you're gonna you're gonna want to get into the collector world and those guys are just kind of another level of things and so mm -hmm. Check them out. Also, like I mean, we talked about the Chris Ramsey T9 Pop Block, good video. Um, there is a guy on Instagram, Puzzle Score. So uh, Puzzle Score? Puzzle Score. On Instagram. Yeah, I think it's all one word. Puzzle Score on Instagram. He's got a fun video. He's, he's fairly new, not a lot of followers. Check him out. He's got some videos, not a lot of videos. He's also on YouTube. Okay. But one of his my favorite videos he had, and we should watch it after. I don't think I showed you, but he's got this video he does fifty ways to solve a puzzle, and he just goes through the different ways. Oh yeah, so, spin it, hit it. No, no, no it's not like that. It, it's like, like that? it's uh like the the perfectionist. So he's got like this guy where all his like stuff is laid out. Oh yeah, okay, so, I get you. He's, I like, get different you. Yeah, types yeah, of like puzzle solvers. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually really funny. I thought it was well thought out and he's kind of got this music playing over and he just shows you different funny like ways guys solve puzzles so there's like the group solve there was so he had like multiple people telling him stuff and different things so 50 ways to solve a puzzle um check that out it's actually really funny i laugh at it so puzzle score he's on instagram and, and, and he's also on youtube so uh, i think he's fairly new though yeah but yeah so uh, also another one i just wanted to slam one more i always love puzzle guys stop and he's doing just a crap ton of videos these days man that guy is i don't know he's like releasing like three a week or something i don't know how he's doing so many but really good stuff he solved one of my favorite puzzle boxes the Karakuri secret box too um it's that one that's a really nice you know it's just the it square is? right it's a square and then it's yeah. got like layers of different colored wood in it i think it looks really pretty and he opens that and it's quite complex inside actually but nice it's it's the, uh, it's, what's that word I couldn't think of again? Oh, I'm gonna forget it. But where it's like you're doing different, like the same move kind of over and over. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> Something. I wanna say sequential, Something. but it's not. Nope. But yeah, so that's that's a good one. It's from Karakuri. We showed you that Karakuri heart today. So cool. they do some really good stuff. So Tony, tell them about 
Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. What do we got? TikTok. We got TikTok too. We got TikTok. Like, subscribe, follow, click the notifications. Also, our uh, email subscription list, man. Oh, we, right have, we have like a, you can get our, our newsletter. Yeah. So go on our website, scroll right to the bottom. It's on the right side. Sign up for our newsletter, man. Especially for limited quantity stuff. That is the only place yeah. to get it. Because once that goes out, everything that goes on to Facebook, Instagram, that's later. Yeah. Right? So if there's limited stock on stuff, sign up for that email so you can get it as of. And then if there's 30 of that item, you got to be quick. Yeah. If you want to be in the know, that subscriber list is where you go. And it'll be all the new stuff. And so definitely, definitely sign up on there. And it's on our website, puzzlemaster.ca. Get yourself some puzzle boxes. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. We always appreciate everyone who's uh, watching our videos and uh, hopefully you like what we're doing. We're always open to suggestions. So if you want to see some different stuff, maybe some puzzles that we haven't done on here, let us know. We always try to do new stuff, but if there's things that you want to see, just tell us, tell us in the comments. We read those and uh, we actually often follow them. Yes. So, yeah. Some <laughs> cool. guy actually, one of the guys, he, uh, he commented that in Aaron's anomalies, we should have uh, like solutions will be shown clip in there and we put it in. So yeah. user Maybe. suggestions will be taken. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good week. We out.